Heart failure is the term we use to describe a set of symptoms that occurs when your heart fails to deliver as much blood and oxygen around your body as it should. Today we will talk about what happens when the heart becomes stiff and is unable to relax. A heart muscle that has had to work hard for a long time, particularly because of a high blood pressure, or sometimes of a stiff heart valve, can become damaged. The left ventricle works hard to pump the blood out of the heart as it pushes against a high blood pressure or a stiff, tight heart valve. The muscle, as with any muscle in our body, when it works harder, becomes thicker. And when the heart muscle becomes thicker, it often becomes stiffer less able to relax and fill from the top chamber, which is called the atrium. This can mean that the atrium stretches, which causes increased pressure back to the lungs and fluid can build up there. A stretched atrium can also increase the risk of developing another problem called atrial fibrillation, which is an irregular heart rhythm. To treat this type of heart failure, the type that stops the heart from relaxing well in between beats, your specialist nurse or doctor will be focusing on reducing your blood pressure, and this is very important if it is high, slowing any fast heart rates. This will allow the heart to fill well and lengthen the time that it has to relax. Considering what to do if there is a stiff heart valve problem. Reducing your other risks, such as diabetes, cardiovascular risk factors and weight management. And then finally, treating any fluid retention with water tablets. Heart failure is generally a long-term condition, often unpredictable and therefore so important for you to understand how to self-monitor your symptoms, to understand the medications you are taking which are so important to reduce deterioration, improve your symptoms and why regular blood tests whilst we are adjusting your medications are vital to monitoring your progress.